Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Dietschy, Rhymes with Peachy. I made a recent video where my grandpa gifted me all of his old Leicas and it was so cool. I knew nothing about Leica, obviously. It was a fun experience for us all learning about it. Um, but now that I've shot a couple rolls on this, it has been a very exciting adventure and I'm really stoked on how the film pictures came out. This is a normal 35 millimeter film camera, um, but the R lens is on it. I have four of them. I've only played around really with two. A really nice glass and I just bought, look at that one, wow. I just bought this adapter, so today we are going to adapt it onto my A7 III. This is the Novo Flex adapter, so it was $169, and this is gonna enable me to use these old Leica R lenses on my Sony. So we're gonna shoot some pictures, shoot some video. When I went to Korea, I shot my rolls of film with the 50 millimeter and the 135, but now I have the 35 to 70 and also the 70 to 210. Wow, wow. This is the 35 to 70, 135, 70 to 210. And we have the 50 millimeter right here. Beautiful set of lenses. Thanks, Grandpa. So I have a feeling that the 35 to 70 is gonna be my favorite because when I was in Korea shooting a lot of stuff, I was I was missing out on the wider angles. The 35 is just so necessary for, for city stuff. So this is gonna be the first one that I put on my Sony. Ooh, this is exciting. This is so fun. I love stuff like this. Secured. Oh, I didn't, okay. They do have a red dot. I didn't see the red dot. That's actually a way smaller profile than I thought. That looks good. Of course, it's all manual. You know, we're not gonna be using the Sony autofocus up in here. Okay, so the shutter and ISO is displayed. We can adjust that. The S-stop isn't reflected on the LCD, but obviously when I stop it down, it stops it down. This is gonna be fun. It's a weekend, so I'm gonna be taking all of these lenses with this camera, shooting pictures and video to show off. But thank you, Peak Design, for sponsoring this video. When I saw everyone with their new fancy tripods, I was a little jealous and then they reached out and said, hey, can we send you one? And I said, oh yes, please. I travel a lot and so having a travel tripod that is super convenient and is also light, that's something I need in my life. Travel tripod, compact ball head, five segments, 150 centimeters max height, carbon fiber. I think this is my first carbon fiber tripod ever. What's great about it is it's super light. Oh my gosh, this is already so small. Look at this. Oh, oh. oh wow, this is a nice case too. Hey guys, just going out, shooting some pictures. I swear with my luggage, if it's like a 50 pound limit, I'm always like three pounds overweight and I always stuff a ton of camera stuff in my bag. So not worrying about usually the heaviest part and that's the tripod, that's gonna be nice. And then obviously I'm a fan of Peak Design. I have their bags, I have their plates that attach to the bag. It's just a super handy ecosystem. Ooh, here we go. The fact that this can just stay on the top of the tripod is huge because I'm always losing these. This is my go-to travel tripod and it's just, in order for it to fold down in its compact position, I can't have a plate in it. So I'm always losing this plate. So way slimmer profile. I can't actually fit this in my backpack when I'm traveling, which kind of defeats the purpose of it. I'm very excited to roam around New York City with this. Okay, the fact that it can be this tall and then go to a smaller profile than all the other tripods I'm used to, that's amazing. So this locks the plate in, so we'll turn it that way. We have the level right there, and then you just loosen it, go like that. It can go down to a 90 degree angle. Ooh, say we gotta get that Insta content. Let's put it in the phone, gotta get that hashtag iPhoneography. Boom. There's about a few days left in the Peak Design Kickstarter if you wanna check it out. The aluminum version of it is 289 and the carbon fiber version is 479, which might be scary at first, but it's actually a very competitive price in terms of carbon fiber tripods. Remember, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck and a very light shell. All right, so there's nothing left to do but to go shoot with the beautiful Leica R lenses.
some Sonys have this great thing called Steady Shot. It's basically in-body stabilization. When you're adapting old lenses onto the Sony, it can't detect the focal length. So all you have to do is go into the settings, hit Steady Shot, make sure it's turned on, and then manually set to what your lens is, whether it's a 35 millimeter or a 210 millimeter. And this is gonna help stabilization with video a ton. So this is a shot at 210 millimeters handheld with Steady Shot turned on and a little bit of stabilization in post. This is an example when steady shot is off or just when you're having zero stabilization help from the camera. So yeah, just a little pro tip if you're adapting older lenses onto your Sony. the point of this video isn't to compare. I just wanted to see what the Leica 35 millimeter is compared to, uh, you know, a native Sony 35 millimeter lens. They're both at f 2.8. And honestly, you can't really tell that much difference. The Leica definitely has a little bit of a different bokeh. It's a tad bit more contrasty. And of course, the biggest downside is, you know, you don't get to utilize autofocus. But hey, the Leica lenses look great and it's not that different. glad that I had that 70 to 210 with me on the night of 4th of July. That footage of all those random fireworks going off in the distance, I've never seen anything like that. So we live, you know, a, a few floors up and being able to see out into the distance all the fireworks shows psh, blew my mind. It was crazy. But little editing side note of the pictures uh, that you're about to see. I'm only here to just uh, tell you that I'm having so much fun editing pictures. Usually it's strictly just videos. So like turning on the music, it's, it's so much fun being able to touch my screen. Literally, it's all I'm here to say. Okay, let's get into the pictures. The Leica 50 is small, compact, really great to just leave on my Leica and bring the adapter along so I can add it on my Sony at any point. We were getting some really nice flares from this. I just, I love the look of these pictures. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the little photo review. Honestly, it was a lot of fun to mess around with these vintage lenses. A good conclusion for me is like, really, I didn't notice a ton of differences. It's a little bit more warm, a little less sharp. It's nice that I can buy basically a $100 adapter and then have all of these different focal lengths to use with my Sony cameras. Cause when I do interviews, I use two Sony cameras. So now I can just throw on that adapter on my a7S II and boom, I have all these new focal lengths uh, that I can use for interviews and stuff. It, I mean, what did you guys think? I think everything looked pretty cool, but I'm actually about to leave. John, I'm so sorry I'm leaving New York. How dare you? How dare me? But I'm so proud of myself now. I'm, I'm like traveling with only a carry-on, but rarely can I fit a tripod of this size um, into, into the suitcase. Look how it's just so... So thank you Peak Design for sending this to me. It is going in my luggage. Look at this, look at this. Easy. I actually have room. What should I put? Should I try to put this in here to shoot in Texas? Think that's gonna work? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Little doodad, look in this case, this is where you keep the, the hex key, the Allen key. What are these things called? Look. So people are like, oh, where are you gonna put this? Oh, they thought about it. There's a little insert in the case, boom. Make sure to check out Peak Design's Kickstarter. Everything just works so well. Now that I'm in the system, the Peak Design bag, the Peak Design mount, where, hey, John, if you can film with my phone real quick, I'm so late to my flight, I hope I make it. All you have to have are the Peak Design plates, and boom, pop, lock, and drop it. That's, that's what I like to say. Anyways, guys, 
Make sure to check out their Kickstarter. There's only a few days left to get discounts on these wonderful tripods. Carbon fiber, aluminum, they have both options. Check out the link in the description below. Oh uh, yeah, this is a fun little doodad. Bye. Bye guys. Is this how you do it? You close it first and then just roll I'm, it. I'm in a hurry. Okay, bye babe. Bye guys, stay peachy. Okay, bye.